The key to being efficient in Shortcuts A Lot 2 requires that you have your SVG library organized and accessible, and I'm going to show you how to do both. Shortcuts A Lot has the ability to preview and organize your SVG files already built into the software. If you click on the window option in your main toolbar and select Personal Library, you'll see this window. In the matter of about a minute, we'll be able to preview our entire SVG collection in this window, and we'll be able to see every single SVG in this window here. The first thing we need to do is tell Shortcuts A Lot where to look for our SVG collection. Right now, if we click on this artwork folder, Shortcuts A Lot is actually looking in this path. If we click on the artwork folder, we notice that nothing comes up, and that's because that's not where my collection is. Okay, so let me show you how I've built my collection. I'm going to close this window, and I'm going to minimize Shortcuts A Lot. It's recommended that you use your Windows desktop as you would a desk in your office or craft room. While you're working on a project, you can place files or folders on the desktop. But at the end of the day, you want to clear up the clutter and file it away. And the best place to file it away is under My Documents. My Documents is also where we want to put the SVG collection. And I've already done that. Let me show you. If I click on Start and go to My Documents, now this may be a little bit different for Windows Vista or Windows 7 users. Instead of My Documents, you'll want to click on the folder that's associated with your account on the computer. It can be your name, your nickname, or whatever label you gave your profile the first time you configured your computer. So now that I'm in My Documents, you'll notice that I've already created an SVG Files folder. You can create a new folder in a couple ways. When you have the window open here, I'm looking at My Documents, I can click on File and go to New, and then click on the Folder option, and then just give it a name. I've already called it SVG Files, so if I try to do it again, it'll tell me that I already have a file with that name. So I'm going to click OK. OK, now we've got the SVG Files folder. And what I've done, and you can do it however you want, I've created subcategories in that folder. I've got autumn, baby, birthday, boxes and bags, cards, so on and so forth. And inside each of these folders, I have SVG collections from svgcuts.com. Okay, these are all categorized by these categories here. Okay, so this is just to give you an idea on how you should organize your files. The main folder should be located under My Documents or your Profile folder. Okay, create a folder called SVG Files and place all of your files in there. You can categorize them however you want. There's no right or wrong way. So let's say that we want to add another category to this. I can go to File click New, go to Folder, and I need to create a Halloween folder. Okay, I'm going to type Halloween and hit Enter, and now I'm going to open this up and you'll notice that there's nothing in there. Well, on my desktop, I've got a folder full of Halloween-related SVG collections. Okay, so I'm going to leave them in their corresponding folders, and I'm going to take and select them all by dragging a box around them, and I'm just going to drag them into this Halloween folder that I just created. Okay, now there it is. Now if I go back, and here's my Halloween category, if I double click, you'll see that there they are. Okay, so I've got them all categorized, and now I can close this. Okay, so let's remember where we put the SVG Files folder. Okay, it's under Start, My Documents, and there it is, SVG Files. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into Shortcuts sure A Lot. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to go to Edit, and we need to go to Preferences. And what we're doing right now is telling Shortcuts sure A Lot where my SVG collection is. Okay, so I'm going to go to Preferences, and down here you'll see the section that's labeled User Artwork. Okay, right now it's pointing to this folder. I'm going to change that. I want to point it to my SVG Files folder under My Documents. So I'm going to click Choose. And I'm going to hit the plus sign next to My Documents. And as you can see, there it is. Okay, here's my SVG Files folder. Okay, right under My Documents. So I've got it highlighted. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK again. Okay, now let's go ahead and close Shortcuts A Lot. This is an important step. And let's reopen it. 
Okay, now that I've got shortcuts a lot reopen, I can go to Window, I can go to Personal Library, and now you'll notice that we've got SVG files here. If we highlight this, look at the path, okay? It's under My Documents, SVG Files. If I hit the plus sign here to expand that folder, wow, there's all my categories, okay? So now I can go under Halloween, okay, and I can go ahead and browse this folder. And there's my SVG files, okay? And then basically what you can do is you simply click on each of these and it'll go ahead and place them on your mat, okay? So I need to make this a little bit smaller and you can adjust the size of the preview. Let me bring up a better one here. Okay, now as you can see, we've got some cool jack-o'-lanterns here. Okay, so basically, now you can actually preview all of your files. You have them all organized here. You can delete folders. You can add new folders from here if you'd like. It's optional. Okay, see this little button here that says Add Folder? If we do that, we can create another category here. But you can also do that under My Documents, under SVG files. Okay, you see this and this? It's the exact same thing, except this is within Windows, this screen here. We're using Windows Explorer. And this window here, we're using the Shortcuts Lot Personal Library window that basically is just like an Explorer, except that it has a built in SVG viewer or preview. Okay, see how you can preview these? You can make them a little bit bigger too. There you go. So with that said, I'm going to show you how to use some of these other buttons here. Okay, we can add a folder. Now when it comes to adding folders, the new folder that we're creating will be added in the folder that we have selected. So for example, if we have SVG files selected, which is our top level folder, and we click New Folder, clicking New Folder brings up this window that asks us to name the folder, and we'll call it Miscellaneous and click OK. Okay, now you'll notice here it is. Here's the miscellaneous folder. Okay, now for example, if I didn't have this highlighted when I added the new folder and I had one of these highlighted, let's just say I'm going to highlight miscellaneous and create another folder called test. If I hit OK, because I had miscellaneous highlighted, the new folder will be created under that miscellaneous folder. Okay. So it's important that when you create a new folder using this option here, that you have the folder that you want that new folder in highlighted first, okay? Now also, you can actually right click on these folder names here, and you can add a folder that way. You can rename this folder, you can delete this folder, or you can add a file within that folder, okay? So let me show you here. I'm gonna actually delete this test folder. Hit yes, okay, there it goes. And I'm going to rename this folder, and I'm going to call this Halloween Individual, and click OK. Now this folder has entire SVG collections from svgcuts.com. In this folder, I'm going to place just individual elements or freebies that I've found on the internet. Okay, so what I can do is I can right click here, and I can add a file. Okay, and when I do that, a box comes up and asks me to basically locate the file that I want to add. So I already have a folder called Trick or Treat Caption, and in there are the two SVG files. So I'll have to do this twice. Okay, here's the first one. Here's the preview. I'm going to hit Open. Okay, and there it is. So now under Halloween Individual, there's that file. And if I highlight it, it shows me the name of the file. It's Trick or Treat Bottom. Okay, so I'm going to add one more. Add File. And I'm going to add Trick or Treat Top. Now it's already in the same folder that I was just in, so I don't need to locate it again. But if I needed to, I know that it's on the desktop. Okay, and there it is. And there's the top file. Okay, so now under Halloween Individual, we've got both of these files, and there they are. Okay, now if for some reason you add a new folder or a new file and it doesn't show up right away, you've got this button here to refresh or reload all of your folders. Okay, in addition, this button here, add a file to the library, 
is the same as if I clicked here and added a file here. It's important that when you use these buttons, you have the corresponding folder that you want to apply that action to highlighted. So if I wanted to add a file into the autumn folder, I need to make sure that it's highlighted and then I can click this button. As an alternative, you can also just right click on this autumn folder and click add file. That way you know exactly where it's going. In addition to being able to preview these SVG files, you can also right click on them and delete them, rename them, or even move the file to another folder. And if I do that, a box comes up and asks me which folder I want to move it to. Okay, I can move it to my main Halloween folder if I want. And in addition to managing and previewing SVG files in Shortcuts a lot, the personal library window also allows you to do the same thing with SCUT files. And SCUT files are basically project files in Shortcuts a lot, and we've discussed those in a previous tutorial.